If any of you were present at the last, uh, you know, an hour ago at the network magic, I was talking about a network problem I had, and that was really only half the story. The other half of the story, which you really don't need to know the first half of the second half, but essentially I was having a network problem, which was very, very difficult to track down. Turns out it took a, ended up taking about two, three months to track it down, working with Colorado. Uh, we, were, we were getting, we were getting uh, random connect fails from DeckNet when we, tried to, when we tried to start up a logical link. And what they did, you know, the connect fail message turns out is, is very generic, but it can come from three different places. There, there are two places within uh, the net driver that can return it, and there's one place within NetACP that can return it. And the only way to find out which one of these places was returning it was to start patching things, putting in diagnostic patches to determine which code path was returning the error. So they shipped me uh, over, through, you know, over the phone line with Kermit, they shipped me a patch to the NetACP and they said install this. Now bear in mind, this is a, you know, this is a five node VAX cluster in the financial district, high production you know, kind of stuff. But we, you know, we were heavily reliant on DeckNet logical links, so the pressure was really on. And I really wanted to get this problem solved, hopefully b before the weekend coming up. In order to install this patch, essentially what I had to do is install the patch to, to NetACP and then reboot the system. Shutting down DeckNet wasn't viable because there were so many tentacles that we really just had to reboot. And I didn't want to do this, so I wanted to patch NetACP online. Now, it's not like patching a driver where, you know, it's a non-page pool and it's an 80 million space and you can just go out and patch it and not have to worry about, you know, page faults or, or even how to get there. This is a NetACP's virtual address space. It's another process. I say, how, am I, how am I going to do this? Well, Delta will get me there. I can go into Delta and uh, get into his process space and, and, and look at his locations and actually change his locations. So I took the patch that they had, which was really nothing more than a, a changing the destination of a branch. So it was really only a one, a one, one word change. I went into Delta and I found the word that I had to change and I went to change it and lo and behold, it didn't change. I said, oh, geez, how can I, how can I you know, not remember? Page protection, the thing was protected against all kinds of write. It was a read-only page. So how am I going to be able to patch this? Well, if I find the page table entry, I can uh, maybe change the page protection. <laughs> Production system, remember. <laughs> I went into uh, I went into SDA. Did it, you know set prox you know net to NetACP? Looked at his address space. I knew that I knew the address. Found the page that I wanted to patch. Looked at the PTE. Sure enough, it was protected against all write access. I uh, looked at the PTE, decoded the protection mask, and on paper I ORed it with the proper bits to be able to uh, write it from kernel mode, calculated the whole long word, went back into Delta, got the PTE in S0 space, and uh, rewrote the new PTE with the, with the writable protection mask. System didn't crash. I said, oh, this is a start. So I uh, go back, uh, go back to S you know, again. I had to go back into SDA to actually look and find out that the page table protection was in fact changed, and uh, go back into Delta now. You know, set my process to, to point at NetACP, and I deposit the new word in the new location, and the system still didn't crash. In fact, I went back into SDA looked at the PTE, and the modify bit was set. Now memory management even knew that it had changed. <laughs> Went into SDA, uh, stayed in SDA, looked at the process, did, you know, examine slash instruction, the code path around where it was, and the new destination was there, decoded beautifully. Waited a little while and noticed that the page had gotten written out on, had gotten uh, paged out onto the modified page list. And the system still didn't crash. In point of fact, what ended up happening was the modified page list, as we all are all painfully aware of, will get flushed quite often. 
the page is actually flushed out into the image file. And the system still didn't crash. <laughs> the other, this is a cluster with a common system disk. <laughs> other processor, other NetACPs on all the other nodes successfully page faulted that page in and I had dynamically applied the patch cluster wide using, X, using Delta. The system never crashed.